The long road to recovery continues from fires that ravaged several Boulder County neighborhoods. At least two people are still missing and feared dead. Today, the focus also turned to what caused the fast moving blaze. WGN Sean Lewis has more. It's our stroller. Tonight, surveying the damage done by the Marshall Fire. As Colorado residents like William Klein return to the still smoldering and now snow covered remains of what were their homes. I was very emotional about this last night when we found the helicopter footage uh, showing that this is this is what the house looks like for sure. Um, at this point, honestly, I'm just really overwhelmed and I can't really feel much anymore. At least seven people were injured in the wildfire that erupted in and around Louisville and Superior, about 20 miles northwest of Denver, starting Thursday. Upwards of 1,000 homes are believed destroyed and hundreds more damaged. For many, it seems like a surreal experience. Just a few days ago, you were celebrating Christmas at home and hanging your stockings, and now uh, home and hearth um, have been destroyed, and it's a shock. You're not alone. Uh, the full force of the United States of America is here. With recovery efforts fully underway, investigators are now turning focus to the cause of what is now the most destructive fire in Colorado history. We did find evidence of telecom lines down in that area, which could have caused reports of down lines, but which would not have caused a fire. We have no a number of tips we're working on. We are ex we've executed a search warrant on one particular location where we're investigating. For those like Klein, I can buy new books, I can buy new furniture, but it's really hard to build back a community and friends and a social network like that. The cleanup is just one aspect in what has become a long road back to life as normal. Hopefully we can build back something, but there's just so much lost. I, I don't know who's going to want to come back to this. Sean Lewis, WGN News.